slot apprentice that has the best plays out of the gun bunch formation, probably the most popular formation in all of competitive Madden for the last several years. So if you're looking to get your passing attack started, that West Coast playbook with the gun bunch is a good place for you at home to go check out. So we begin with Lamar Jackson, and again, escape artist. There's an ability for him. Tony Pollard, one of the running backs. He's been a popular pick in Madden play. Underway in the second Raven semifinal. As Jackson tries to turn the corner and skips out of bounds just a little shy of the stick. Yeah, this young man, Joker, he's been known in the community to have a really good gun split close formation out of this Patriots playbook. I've been very anxious to see how he moves the ball on offense and off rip a nice scramble for seven. Spend some cap on his old line, too. He's got the Harvard educated Matt Burke in there. It's an 84 grade. Guards are 70s, but that's an 84 grade center in there. So on a second down and three. Takes that play clock down under five. And will he run it? You bet. Tyreek Hill blown up, though, in the backfield. Yeah, J.S. the best is going to have run defense. He's always been a very good defensive player. And right there, just blows it up, gets Joker in a big third down early. That's why you put your Fletcher Cox in there, right? He's got Brandon Williams, who is a Raven, as part of that D-line. 27 cap, 90 power move for Fletcher Cox says he wanted him for that pressure up the middle. He just got it. Going deep. Over the shoulder, Marvin Harrison. To the house. And look at Joker. The 16-year-old says, you know what? I saw a 16-year-old dropping bombs in the first game. Let me hit you with a big bomb on my first drive on a big third down. And what a way to respond. And even more importantly, look at his reaction. There is no reaction. He's locked in and ready to go. You think the California cool guy was Joker. But remember in that first semi, it took only one play for that big bomb to strike. This was three plays in, but a very similar result. Picks up the blitz, lets it rip. Got and it he, over the Raven Humphrey. And he says his dad's the one that gave him the nickname Joker. He's been calling him Joker his whole life. And Papa Joker's in the back right now watching. He's got to be going crazy because his son just opened up this drive in a big way with a big touchdown against the big-time player. And if he can play a little takeaway, he's in the driver's seat early. You know, I saved this nugget for now because I know that you're such a Patriots guy. You know who else is out of that Cesar Rodney High School in Dover where Joker goes? The Patriots' very own Deron Harmon, the closer. Oh, the, the safety. Right? My guy, man. Three-time Super Bowl champion, 17 picks. How do you know where Harmon went to high? You're like a walk. Research, buddy. Research. <laughs> Walking encyclopedia. Uh, no, it's, it's like being Rain Man is what it is. <laughs> the, the Rain Man of uh, sports stats. Definitely Dover, Delaware, yeah. So at a 7-0 early ready, deficit here, we're going to get our first look at J.S. the best on offense. And Steve Young, hey, well, speaking of research, you got to go way back. He was in the USFL. People forget that sometimes. Star at BYU. Leo, Leo. Did not win the Heisman, though. Mike Rozier won it out of Nebraska. Young back. J.S. the best. Looking, looking. Nothing oh. there for Steve Young in the ball. ball. Almost coming oh. out. It did come out. Oh. What a start, huh? Oh, my goodness. If you're J.S. the best, that is the last thing you want to happen. He's dancing around back there with Steve Young and the escape artist. Bought himself a little bit of time. Didn't throw it away. Got greedy. Steps up into a hit. And Joker says, the joke's on you, J.S., because I got the fumble, and I'm in complete control early on. J.S. the best undressed by Telvin Smith. And now Tyreek Hill trying to turn that corner. Doesn't get it. But you can't ask for a, a better beginning here if you're Joker. You're taking on a defending champion, or at least a, a 2018 Madden champion. Yep. And you're already up 7 nothing and deep in plus territory again. Yeah, this is insane. But if you're Joker, you can't take your foot off the gas. You're going up against a young, grizzled veteran and J.S. the best. And he'll continue to fight his way through this entire game. So this is far from over. you got to capitalize on these moments right here if you're Joker. J.S. the best running that Dolphins defense. And again, plenty of 
game action here. Plenty of in-tournament, in-game pressure action. He's come back from bigger than 7-0. Can he come back from 14-0? Ross in the corner of the end zone, and a touchdown for Joker again. This is ridiculous from Joker. Remember at the top of this show, we said JS is point differential in online elimination. He beat opponent. He went 3-0 and and beat op outscored opponents 80-14. to And here's Joker. He's already put up 14 points, and we're not even halfway through the first quarter. You know, we should point out Joker lost to Jet Steel 35-7 in the original final, but with Jet Steel no longer in the tournament, Joker given a shot against Jet Life, survived to get here today. Now Jet Life is gone because the other 16-year-old moved on. And Joker in early command of this one, the Ravens Club semifinal. Wouldn't that be something if it was two teenagers? I mean, not like 19 versus 19. I mean, 16 versus 16 in this final. Young trying to serpentine away, gets rid of it. Got his man! Got Randy Moss! Oh, did he need that! Touchdown, JS the best! And I didn't say JS the best was gonna lay down. I told you he was gonna continue to fight. And if you're Joker, that's why you had to capitalize because JS the best is explosive on offense. And he showed you there, right there why. He had one play his first drive for a fumble turnover. And then the next drive, let me just hit you with a touchdown off rip. Young to Moss and it's a ball game again. We got a shootout here, partner, 14 to seven. We played two and a half minutes. Look at him, use that escape artist, gets away from the pressure, good throw on the run. Moss with the one hand rack catch. And Jelani's back in the building. OBJ'd that thing at the 15 yard line and just ran it the rest of the way. We've got about 170 yards of offense in this game already. Jackson rolling and looking. And just decides to sprint for the sticks and then slide for the sticks. There was a lot of high-level Madden going on right there. Joker rolls out, thinking about scrambling, sees the receiver coming on the crossing route. JS sees that, goes back to guard the crossing route, and then Joker takes what the defense gives him with a scramble. That was a, a little bit of a chess match going on on that play. Brings up a second and one. Tony Pollard is his running back. Boy, just an electric start to this semifinal. Jackson on the move, gets rid of it, and that's the danger of not just pumping it forward with a run right on a second and one. Yeah, but second and one is usually a good time to take a shot as long as you don't take a sack because you feel like that you're going to be able to pick up that one yard on third down, worst case scenario, fourth down. So in Madden, second and one has been known on a high level. If you're going to take a shot, that's not a bad time to do it. You got your escape artist on Lamar Jackson anyway, so yeah, the likelihood of a sack very low. They go offset eye this time with Ross now moving out from what was a, a weird fullback position for him. And there's Pollard. Oh, he's got some room. Pollard yeah, guns the engine. Go. Pollard to the 20. Pollard to the 10. Touchdown again. The Joker just responds, audibles down from that gun split, close into a running formation. And just, boom, it's too easy right there. That had to go some old school Patriots on you again. Pollard is being used like Kevin Falk by a lot of these Madden players, right? New England running back slash halfback, put him in the slot. Yep, the ultimate utility, especially in salary cap. Well, J.S. the best will have to respond again. This time, gashed on a run play. Look at that. Just bad user. Yeah, Troy Palomalu never had a chance. You know, the, the dirty little secret about J.S. the best, I think, partner, is that his defense has been suspect in this tournament. About 170 yards allowed a game. It's the highest of these four semifinalists. Young in trouble. Boy, and Joker is just on the march here. Yeah, J.S. looking for that post route again. And Joker has the best pass defense out of everybody in this club. And Joker also the best at forcing turnovers. He's forcing about two turnovers a game. So he's known for playing some really good defense. And so far, it's as advertised. Danny Shelton just ate the lunch of Steve Young right there to bring up second and 18. I'm going to stop calling Patriots guys at some point. I'm not trying to pander to you, but that's what actually just happened. Young on the move. Looking for that block, who Harrison tried to get in front 
of Troy Palomalo. Some decent stick work there. It's going to bring up a third and four. And I like that from J.S. Finally, you, you, you got a lefty quarterback. He finally rolls out to his left, which is Steve Young's strong side. It's kind of awkward with a lefty quarterback. You got the bunch to the right. You usually want the bunch on the side you could roll out to so you could throw that corner route to Harrison. But J.S. taking a little bit of a different approach right here. Do you feed Pollard? I mean, it sure worked the other way. No, he'll stay in and block. Young wings it. Caught. Ooh, right oh, right at the first down oh. make. What a hit. And Humphrey. Oh, he's going. Humphrey. Jordan loose and he scores. Big hit, Shaquille. Oh, my goodness. The Joker. And he's, he forces two turnovers a game online. He's forced two turnovers already in this live event. And that was a user hit stick fumble. There was nothing about the CPU doing that. That's Joker controlling that player, laying the wood, and making a play himself. That's high-level Madden work right there so from you young Kale Lambert. You mentioned it. He averages two takeaways a game, does Joker. He's on pace for eight in this one. And how about a 28-point orgy in that first quarter oh my goodness this is just unheard of i expected this to be a good ball, game Go. but joker's just in complete control right now he's looking to upset js the best jelani's not out of this game though this is still very early but he needs to get it going on this drive so we've talked about how even back in madden 18 he had to rally a couple times but Point of order here, RG. He didn't have to come back from down 28-7. Young's got some green grass, and he'll skip out of bounds with the first down. Yeah, 28-7. This is a tall hill, to tall hill to climb, but we've seen people do more, a comeback from worse situations. And J.S. the best isn't the type of guy that's going to get in his own, own head. He's calm, cool, and collected. He's going to stay focused on the next play, but he needs to execute. He's got big play guys, too. He's got Randy Moss, Marvin Harrison, Tyree Kill. Dangerous pass. Another one. It's Marlon Humphrey again. Are you kidding? Humphrey down near the 10, and the route is on. Poor J.S. He is frustrated. I just saw him bang his hand up against the chair and he knows he is not playing his best Madden ball and making matters worse as Joker is playing phenomenal John Madden football right now. He is all over the veteran. Looking for a five touchdown first half. It won't happen quite yet. Let me play pop psychologist with the RG for just a second. Is there anything to Joker waiting in the wings watching as a guy even younger than him was able to take down a, a much older player? Uh, it's got to be very inspirational. And you know what? These young guys have been doing work for a long time. We saw Henry was the runner-up at the Madden Classic this year at 16-year-old. When guys like Drini and Joel first got onto the circuit at the ages of 17 years old, they were able to do damage. Go! Into the end zone Go! again. He's spreading it out all over the place. That time he got Ross. I don't know what's nicer right now. Joker's game or that Ravens hat. <laughs> that he's rocking, but he is clicking on all cylinders, both with the wardrobe and on the virtual gridiron. Look at that hat. It's a custom Ravens hat right there he's bringing to the party. They brought a dot to that goal line, too. Ross rolled into the end zone to make it 35-7. to seven. This is a tough place to be. Look at this, just... Throws it right by the linebacker. Low pass, accurate, and look at that emotion from the young 16-year-old. Fighting out of Dover, Delaware. $6,500, remember, for the winner of this Madden 20 Ravens Club Championship. So what does a 16-year-old do with 6,500? Because we're, we're gonna be finding that out one way or another, it would appear. You walk around the high school like you own the place when you go back. Steve Young loading up. You don't have to get it back all at once, obviously. Is this smart? I mean, just kind of dink and dunk your way down the field just to get a little something going. Oh, if you're JS, you're doing whatever you can right now to just not turn the ball over. You, he's already just been all over you of interceptions, forced fumbles. You're just doing whatever you can to keep these chains moving and get yourself some There point. you go. Up over the top, Tyree Kill. And a little closer for J.S. the best. 
I really hope you took the over in this one because <laughs> these guys are putting up points. Well, well, it's not like, you know, we're casting Jay as the best as a KG veteran. He's 21. It's not like he's 31. In Madden years, he is. 21 is like 31. Yeah, that's a good point. But I got to ask you, though, before we get too far away from shore here with Joker, and we've already seen one 16-year-old winner in this bracket, the other semifinals. So is there a, a little seismic shift underneath our feet right now? Is there going to be 16, 17-year-old, 18-year-old domination as we go forward? Oh, these young bucks are tough. I don't know if they're going to dominate, but they are not to be slept on. They take their Madden game very serious. And they're labbing now, too, right? And, and they're labbing, and it's not just, you know, they're, they're getting better at coaching and clock management. And um, it, it really helps these guys understand the game of football at a high level. And that's one of the beautiful things about these guys that get into Madden at such an early age. Is it really does just teach them a whole nother aspect, you know, just about football. Because football is a complicated game. There's not, you know, tons of 16-year-olds out there that can tell you how to manage the clock in a two-minute situation. These guys can. I think the other thing, too, is that roster management. When you're talking about Mutt and you're talking about having to manage a salary cap, well, spread why that, is that around. A oh, they're what spreading the ball here. Harrison! Oh, come on! Another touchdown for Joker. And, and that's laugh, clown, laugh right there for JS the best. What else can you do? This is, I'm, I'm speechless. I'm, I'm legitimately speechless. Speechless. I did not. You? <laughs> if you told me that Joker was going to come out here and drop 42 points on JS the best with 2.30 left in the first half, I would have told you to leave. This is ridiculous. Well, you talked about the 16-year-old Henry who made his mark at the Classic. We got two 16-year-olds making marks in this Ravens Club semifinal here today. Now you got the 21-year-old the trying to get back at it now. J.S. the best gets crunched right there after the completion. Now, uh, I do want to just kind of bring this into play, talking about J.S. the best. This is a guy who was a point guard in high school, right? Great court vision. You'd think that would be a very transferable skill set. But the vision here, I mean, what, what is he seeing, RG, that, that's not correct? Because he keeps throwing in a coverage, he's turned it over three times, and his defensive play has just not been there at all. Well, he's, it's been uh, fumbles and turnovers. Oh, here we go. Tyree Kill got Troy Palomalu turned around. And he wiggles down past the 25. But, yeah, for JS, fumbles and turnovers, will, they'll destroy you in Madden. And let's remember, he started off this game with his quarterback fumbling the ball on his first play on offense. Right. Later on, he throws a nice, crispy pass, but then Joker makes a phenomenal user, hit stick fumble that goes back the other way. So a lot of this is just Joker's team making plays. Flares it out, Marvin Harrison with a dip inside. And we're going to be hitting the record books for a highest scoring semifinal or final game ever. Yeah, I haven't seen anything like this in the MCS era. This is an insane amount of points these guys are putting up. And JS just continuing to fight here. Well, is this Madden or NBA ball, 2K? I, I mean, that? looking at 42 to 14. And very close to threading it in there, by the way. It didn't quite work out. It's going to bring up a second end goal. Trying to cut it down to 42-21. The handoff, and it's Tyree Kill! So it is essentially six touchdowns to three. Do your math. Got a 16-year-old who just did homework this morning, so I know Joker can do it. That's nine first-half touchdowns, RG. It's insane. The most I've seen in the MCS era, but... For JS, you know what? We've seen people come down. Now that you got this in a 21-point game, a three-possession ball game, if you can stop Joker from getting points right here and get this ball in the second half and right, he gets go and get yourself out, yeah. a touchdown, you're back in the ball game. As crazy as that sounds, this is not over. But the first phase for JS right here is to prevent Joker from getting any points right here. He needs to keep this a three-possession ball game going into the second half. Papa J.S. Keon watching the stream, and I'm sure pacing right now back in San Diego. Shout out to my guy, Keon. That's my guy, man. He is one of the most supportive fathers I've seen in this Madden community. He is always there for his 
son Jelani, and he, he's a big fan of the MCS. Well, Dad got Jelani into Madden in the first place. Madden 05 is when Jelani, or J.S. the best, picked it up, he says. And by the time he hit Madden 11, or Madden 12, he actually started winning against Dad a little bit. Yeah, it could finally be, it took him five or six years, but it's inevitable. Jackson rolling. Oh my goodness. Cross body throw, Tyree Kill. Can he get it? Up for grabs and taken away by Marlon Humphrey. Oh, that's huge. That is huge for JS. And we're telling him about, hey, you can't let up points. But now he has all three timeouts, 30 seconds in a potent offense. He might be able to go down the field and get himself some points before this happens. If he can get a touchdown, he's all the way back. Even three, I would think, would be a psychological boost right now. Take that, take a breath. And you're right, the three timeouts. And you've got some speed on the outside, running the West Coast offense. Young over the middle. Tyree Kill to the 38. Yep, and when you have three timeouts, you have the luxury of doing that in this situation. You can throw that ball to the middle of the field. And remember, it's not just Tyree Kill. It's Harrison and it's Moss. That's a great cluster of wide receivers he's loaded up with. 24 seconds left in an explosive first half. I'm just surprised he hasn't utilized Marvin Harrison much. He has that slot apprentice route on him. You usually see him running a lot of post corners. There he goes in motion. See if he can get him involved. He'll take off with it. Stay in bounds and put a move on. He's still got 13 seconds. Check that 15 seconds left in the half. Here you go, J.S. Look at him. He knows he has life. All of a sudden, it's unexpected life, but it's life. All right, so you go in deep corner here. You want to go right for the end zone on one play? He, he has two timeouts. You don't need to get it all right here, but you definitely want to take a shot downfield. And don't turn it over for a fourth time in one half. I would love to see him flip this bunch, have a corner to the left with a dig coming from the backside, but... No, he kept it trips right. Dangerous, oh, oh boy! Duh. Come on, man! That's getting greedy right there. That's oh. huge, bro. We needed points right there. Oh, and Couldn't have said it any better than he just said it. Yeah, J.S. talking to himself says, I needed points right there. He knows he had a huge opportunity. He's calling for the admin. So as it stands right now, it's a four turnover first half for J.S. the best. And what has been first half the worst? Uh, he had the right concept going there. It was the corner route with the rollout, but he did it to his right. When you got Steve Young, who's the lefty, you really, I feel like you want the bunch on that What's left side. And, you know, let's not take anything away from Joker. He clicked onto that defender and made that user interception himself. His stick work has been bananas this entire game. Marlon Humphrey, the son of the former NFL running back, Bobby Humphrey. First round pick out of Alabama in 2017. He's been a huge all across Madden play. Of course, the longtime GM of the Ravens, Ozzie Newsom, was an Alabama legend. So we might as well bring a, an Alabama reference in there. You know, both these guys, diehard Ravens fans, they're going to sneak those Ravens in that lineup where they can. Still a second to go here before halftime. And I know, and we heard it right out of the mouth of J.S. the best. He, he didn't want to go away with nothing there. However, he's come from 42 to 14, back to within 42-21. He's getting the ball coming out. So I know that would have been the, the icing on the, on the pastry here. Get that 42-28 score, but you know, at least it's not a complete mess right now. You're back to within three touchdowns. You're getting the ball coming out. And a phenomenal first, this is a first half score, everybody, 42-21. And again, it's this at stake, this very nice looking trophy furnished by the Ravens. $6,500 there for the taking as well. And that bid, that ticket punched to the major. $700,000 plus, by the way, overall, up for grabs in this tournament. I know that's huge money for a 16-year-old to think about. 
I mean, I'm north of 40. Believe it. I think that's a huge amount of money. For sure. And I, I can just ima imagine what that experience has to be like, you know, going back into high school, 6,500 cool in your pocket, representing the Ravens organization, and then telling them, oh, by the way, in a few weeks, I got to go fly out to try to turn this into 100,000. I mean, that, that's just got to be an insane experience and an awesome feeling. Kind of makes learning about like Bernoulli's theorem and whatever just seem very <laughs> unimportant for a little while. So a, a huge first drive I would put to your RG, right? I mean, you, you've come back from down 42-14. You're trying to creep and crawl your way back. You cannot turn it over again. You can't. That's a good start. Harrison down the sideline. Elbow down just shy of the five. Oh, man, all I'm thinking about is imagine if JS was able to get that touchdown before half. He would really be putting the pressure on Joker. But nonetheless, this is exactly what he needs to do. He's in go mode here. But can anybody get open? Young standing like a statue with no pass rush. This play might take 20 seconds. Bro, Finally to the end zone, he got it threaded in there. Touchdown, JS the best. Look at the poise of Jelani Shelton. I told you he will not go away. And despite being down 21 points, he continues to fight. And guess what? Once again, he's a defensive stand from getting himself all the way back in this ball game. This dude's got 352 total yards, RG, and he's losing by 14 points. And breaking news when it feels like breaking, I think we're likely we'll go into it after this replay is JS rolling out wide open corner route. Yeah, Harrison did most of the heavy lifting here to set up that touchdown. But you were saying sorry about that. Well, we're about to the record for most points in an MCS final is 78 between Little Man and Nini. And here we are. We're already at 70 points. It looks like they're going to break the record if things keep going this way for the most points we've ever seen in an MCS game. Jackson just chucks it out of bounds here, bring up a second down and 10. So what defensive adjustments, seriously, does JS the best have to make here? He's been burned over the top a couple times, I know. Yeah, no deep balls. You need to make Joker work. A lot of his plays have come from big, big games. Like this one. There you go, over the top again, and it's Ross down the sideline. So we are sneaking towards that record that you just discussed, and we still have 3.49 to go in the third quarter. Oh, that's just a devastating play right there for JS the best. Anytime it looks like he's trying to get himself back in the ball game, young Kale Lambert, a.k.a. the Joker, just seems to have the answer. Lamar Jackson's got him set up here at the 23-yard line going in. And the 16-year-old from Delaware, Joker. See if he can pop that end zone again. Tyree Kill, nothing there. <laughs> and again, Marlon Humphrey just seems to be everywhere in this tournament. If you're Joker right now, you re I really want to see him manage this clock. Just really slow this game down, run the ball. Even though you lost four yards, it's no big deal. Just milk that play clock all the way down, take your three, and make this three possessions. Now you fire up a field goal here. You're right, make it a 17-point game. Jackson. <gasps> oh, boy, he got it there to Hill, and uh, you saw the same thing I did. He's playing with fire right now. I'm telling you, he's got JS in a really bad spot, but you make passes like that, JS might just click on and pick it. Which, I mean, it's greedy, and I get it, because everything's working for you so far, but you don't need it. You, you, I mean, three points right now is almost as good as seven, yeah. right? I mean, you make it a, a three-possession game in the second half. Josh, I'm telling you, that last pass was close to getting picked off. That was a risky throw, but... Joker able to convert, and he has been milking the clock to his credit, so that, that's a good thing. You see that play clock just continuing to w wind down. Got a second and goal here. Tyree Kill playing some bumper cars. He'll get it down to the five. Third down right here. you got to expect a run. If you're Joker, just run this ball. If you get a touchdown, great. If not, just take it to the fourth quarter and then settle for your three, make it three possessions in the fourth. 
Do you believe that Joker was averaging 17 points a game in this tournament coming in? He's knocking at the door of 49 right now. Got a third and goal at the five. He's got Pollard over his left shoulder. There's Lamar Jackson here. And they've got a skate artist on Jackson. Looking. Can anybody get open? Lamar Jackson still looking. And with no pass rush, finally they find him. You're still in field goal range, and at the very least, you hung on to the ball. I mean, yeah, th exactly. right, I mean you, you run around like that. You read my mind. I, I was thinking just taking that sack was very mature. As long as he doesn't fumble, the most important thing was to keep that clock moving so yep. we could put our fours up and go into this fourth quarter. And press that R down to make sure that ball's not coming loose. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the third, and things did slow down quite a bit because we had that at 42-21 halftime score. There was only one touchdown in the third quarter. That was from JS the best, but a lot of time just spun off that clock by Joker. And now to make it 45 to 28, you bet. That field goal was huge. And now if you're JS, you got to think back. Had you at least got three before that half, instead of the end of that first half, instead of throwing that pick, you would have been in a lot better of a situation. But right now, he is just in a tough, tough spot. It's the only time, RJ, we saw a crack in that California chill of JS the best. I mean, you talk about throwing the pick. He almost threw his chair yeah. when he did that, right? I mean, You're he, right. he knew what that was. You're right. He was clearly visibly frustrated. And we haven't seen that from Jelani Shelton in the three years or so that we've been seeing him compete. He is not happy about the way he has played in this game so far. Does he have one last charge in him here in the fourth quarter? Steve Young, downfield, looking for Moss. It's tipped away. Moss had that one-hand catch for him earlier and took it to the house. No such magic there. Yeah, it looks like he had a step on him. Steve Young doesn't have the most throw power in the game. So he throws it a little bit short. Joker able to click on, swat it away. Buying time. Dude, That's a dangerous oh, throw. Oh. It is grabbed by Marvin Harrison, at least. <laughs> Look at Joker. He's up 17 in the fourth, and he, he's still not happy about giving up that no. first down. He wants that fifth takeaway. I mean, his defense was as advertised. Young. Oh, he threaded the needle there. That's big. That was very close to a pick again. Despite that being a completed pass, Joker on defense, he clicked on and tried to make a swat on that play, and his reflexes were insane right there. I'm starting to notice this young man has serious, serious stick work. Taking a shot, Marvin Harrison! No! A third pick, this one from Denzel Ward, and that could be ball game. Oh, that's going to be ball game. He's just going to go through the motions right now, milk that clock, but we knew Joker had defense coming into this game based off of st statistics, and sometimes the stats don't lie. It was as advertised, forcing you know, all kinds of turnovers, just tight coverage, blitzing, playing coverage. It was just a really good game plan from the Joker. It's been take five for the Joker. He has taken it away that many times on a day where J.S. the best has had Steve Young throw for nearly 320 yards. What an insane second semifinal. And again, the way it sets up now, well, you want insanity. Welcome to the New World Order. It'll be a sweet 16. It'll be two 16-year-olds. One of them's going to get $6,500 and be the Ravens champion. Yeah, that has to be a record in the MCS. I can't recall... Uh, a moment where we saw our game where we saw two 16 year olds battle, battling it out in the, a championship game. This is this is going to be an MCS first, if I'm not mistaken. Well, on a third and two, he didn't get the first down. So now Joker on a fourth and three. If he punts it away, you know, you, you got JS the best here already out of timeouts, right? I mean, it's a three possession game. Go ahead and punt it. Yeah, for sure. If you're Joker right now, you, you're. Like I said, just kind of going through the motions. As long as JS doesn't get any onside kicks, you'll be able to get this ball back, and, kind of start nailing it out. And it's a subtle point, too, but even on that punt, to keep it out of bounds. Remember, we saw Jet Life had a punt return touchdown in yep. the first semifinal. That from Dante Hall. Don't let Deion Sanders run one back on you. That's a good point, Josh. So now needing a miracle, and Steve Young airing it out. 
Tyreek Hill, no, couldn't get it. If you got 49er fans of a certain age watching, you'll know Steve Young has hit for some miracle comebacks in his day, but this would be an all time. <laughs> yeah. You got 319 left. And a guy that has been in the final four in this Ravens club. Gonna be kicked out of it right here. That'll do it. Denzel Ward. And he'll high step it to the 15 yard line. Six takeaways in one game. This has to be some sort of record. And Joker just, I'm just blown away. I am truly blown away. I would never in a million years I've expected him to handle our guy JS the best like this, but Joker has truly made a name for himself here, and he has arrived here at the MCS. Is there anything to it, you know, quote unquote, a bad day at the office for JS the best, or is this legit that Joker is this good? I think it was a bad day at the office for JS the best. He definitely didn't play his best game, but let's not take anything away from Joker. He, a lot of that was because of Joker, the plays he was making with his user defenders, his offense, the reads he was making. Joker played almost a flawless game. And we go back to the end of that first half. I wonder, I'm sure you do too, RG, if JS the best is able to take it to 42-28. Get that ball coming out. I mean, does the psychology change a oh, little bit? Oh, so much. As a Madden player, you're, you're constantly just thinking of, you know, how many possessions am I up? And, you know, once I get this ball back, can I just kind of milk this clock and get away with it? And three possessions is usually that magic number. Trying to make it a 48-28 game using Graham Gano, who actually was very briefly a Raven, for real, in 2009. Steven Hauschka came in, took the job away. Look at Joker, he's just still focused. He still just like looks so locked in and focused. You think he knows that this game's over yet? Tell you what, we are seeing if princes become kings in this particular round here. A pair of 16-year-old sophomores are going to have at it here in the Ravens Club Final. $6,500 on the line. And of course, a chance to move on to that final round of 32. And wouldn't that be something if you get that 16-year-old that kind of shake up there? Oh, for sure. We are, like I said, we've seen 16-year-olds in that final 32. We got Henry representing the Eagles. But one thing I want to say, Josh, is if you're JS the best, keep your head up. I mean, he'll, he'll be back. Remember, last year, he made it to he was fifth place in last year's Madden Challenge. That ladder is open right now, so we'll have our Mutt Draft tournament in late January. And JS had a lot of success in that tournament last year, so if you're him, you just got to go back to the drawing board and just get ready for that Madden Challenge because this just, this just wasn't your jam this year. You, you, you ran into a buzzsaw in the young Joker. In the history of club majors, we've never seen a 16 versus 16 before 16 years old going both ways in the NFL Club Championship. But we're gonna see it. We're just a few seconds away. Boy, Joker wasn't kidding. Joker can play. Joker took down JS the best. It is a 48-28 final. So much action in the first half, RG. Kind of slowed to a crawl in the second half, but by then the damage was done. Yeah, it just, he just kept feeling like JS was just about to make his comeback, just about to get himself back in the game. And every time it was looking that way, Joker would make the play when he needed to. And I'm just so impressed by that young man right there. Kale Lambert is the real deal. Where does he get those beautiful toys? Look at all of the work that he does. Yeah, and you're going to see in these highlights, it's just going to be a lot of big plays on offense and forcing turnovers on defense. Now here's this uh, second semifinal we can show you where it kind of started getting away when the ball came loose right there, and nobody knew the ball was on the ground at first, but that quickly became 14 nothing, and the route was on. Yeah, and that was JS's first play on offense, and then look at this, boom! 
That's Joker. User hit stick fumble. A good read by JS, but better stick work from Joker, and he made all the plays when he needed to. In the Batman movie, when Joker blows up the hospital and just kind of walks away with that little look, <laughs> that's the little look this Joker has had this whole time. Like, you know what? I got this, and you guys are going to have to come get me now. There's another big play over the top, and that was just a lot of that all game long. 42 first half points for this 16 year old kid and it's two 16 year olds now Thutterball and Joker who will go ahead to head for the Ravens Madden 20 club championship Joker standing by with Evan right now. Uh, thanks so much Josh we got Joker here congrats man on getting the win I Thank mean it's, it's a huge accomplishment for uh, yeah. anybody let alone somebody who's 16 years old. For sure uh, it's crazy it I didn't expect the game to go like that got very fortunate with some fumbles but yeah. It, it happened, I guess, so you got to roll with it. Did you, did you expect to win, though? Did you expect to be in the finals? Uh, I mean, you got to have personal confidence. Yeah. So, I mean, JS, knowing he's a really good player, he's done very well the past few years. Uh, it's definitely a big win, and just got to keep going and fight against Thunderball. Listen, when you're, when you're 25, you may have different responsibilities and things going on in mm -hmm. life than when you're 16. 16, you got school still, and it's a huge grind to get here. What was your process like getting into the Final Four for the Ravens? Uh... Usually just school during the day, come home, just lab up with my friends, uh, just get prepared overall, just think about what's going to be happening, what's going to be coming towards my way during the games, and just do the best that I could. Well, let's talk a little bit about the game, because defense was a factor. There's a yes. huge play at the end of the first quarter I want you to walk me through here on the screen. Um, I can't um, – the drag, the fumble, yes. Uh, Shaquem made a huge play for me. He – Came up in the flats, right, and just drilled Tyree killing a drag. He got an unfortunate animation going backwards behind the line, or the first down marker. So yeah, he just kind of ate a hit stake, and I just got fortunate with the fumble. Pretty incredible game. I mean, it was very exciting to watch. And but one of the big things that's happening is that we're making some history. It is the first time yes. two 16-year-olds have ever faced each other in the club final. Uh, it's the it's the youngest club final we've seen. So how do you feel just going into that, being a part of that? What's just like going on in your mind, and what do you even know about Thunderball as your competition? Uh, watching Thunderball, I think he was in doubles north or south, one of the two, and he was he played pretty good. Mm. Um, but just two 16-year-olds in the final, it's crazy it's hard to think about but you got to keep rolling just keep fighting and just do what you can to win I know most you know if you're if you're on the old head side you don't want to hear this but do you think there is a new wave of Madden the 16 year old the, the new blood coming in and kind of stealing the show uh some of these kids are good man I mean <laughs> coming in dominating I mean old heads are always going to be there they're always going to be good yeah. at the game but these young these young kids they're coming in and flying through fast yeah, earning respect, that's for sure, man. Yes. Congratulations. We'll Thank see you. you in the final as well versus Appreciate Thunderball. It. Our Ravens final is set, and it features two teenagers rocking some very strong Madden, and both are about to make their club final debuts. When we come